welcome to week 42 of the 52-week art journal journey. I'm Melinda, and I'm here to encourage you to reclaim your creativity and establish a healthy habit of creative self-care through my simple form of art journaling, one small art and journaling prompt each week for one year. If you aren't a big watercolor fan, you may be glad to know that we are taking a break from our watercolor mixing. But if you like your art to be relaxing, we are sticking with the type of art you can get lost in. Lines. This is far from the first time we have used lines for grounding and refocusing creative self-care in our art journals this year. Thanks to Creative Stress Relief on Instagram, we have something new to try. You will need a black pen. I've used both a Sharpie and a Micron pen in this video. A plain old ballpoint would work just fine too. The final effects are slightly different with different sized pen tips. If you think you may want to add watercolor later, make sure whatever you use is waterproof. Unless you want to soften your lines and add a gray cast to your color, that actually sounds interesting. If you try it, let me know. I would love to see it. Which brings me to, if you ever decide to share any of your 52-week art journal journey art on Instagram, tag me. Melinda Van Rye. I also have a new Instagram so I can focus on my creative self-care content and keep Melinda Van Rye for my artwork, including upcoming products and original art for sale. Whether or not you follow Melinda Van Rye, check out better.with.art. I would love to see you both places. Remember, there is never any pressure to share any of your art journal art with anyone. I share mine to encourage you to reclaim your creativity and establish a healthy habit of creative self-care. If you would like to share and be encouraged and encourage others on this journey, as well as finding the link to my Instagram below, you can find a link to sign up for a weekly creative self-care email and an invitation to join my private Facebook group. We are tiny, but growing and definitely encouraging. So back to this week's art. As you can see, we start out drawing blobs. So yeah, I did stay on another part of the theme from the last two weeks, but these are larger and less a circle or oval, more knobby. But wait, let me step back first. First, we need to draw a frame or border around the edge of our page. I did try this without one and it works way better with a border. I also found I preferred mine without blobs that share a flat edge with the border although they were in the example that inspired this week's project. How to describe the lines we add? Well, to me, this ends up looking like an interesting tunnel system seen from outside and above. I feel like my ability to line up my lines, so to speak, improved with each attempt, but I will always be wobbly in making lines. My art will always be wobbly. Instead of just trying to bring my wobble under control with each new thing I try in my art journal, I have to each time get over a particular idea of perfection and just enjoy making, getting lost in the process. In my art outside my journal, I keep learning how to use how my body and brain work naturally to inform my personal style, instead of chasing things that just don't fit quite right and aren't genuine, even if they seem, hmm, better isn't quite the right word, but 
in some eyes, I guess better would be the word. I hope you have time to experiment with this this week as I did, and that maybe it will become part of your collection of art activities you use to calm your busy brain. This is ideal for that. At least once we get over focusing too much on getting all of our lines just so. How often does wanting different things to be just so trip us up? In art, in life. Let's journal about that this week. There are things in my life that I feel uncomfortable when they aren't a particular way. Some of these are reasonable, objectively reasonable. Others, not so much. Some make life easier, tasks more efficient. Other things are just preferences. And still others are rooted in negative past experiences and trauma. We need a certain amount of order in our lives. There are things that may be different for each of us that make life work better. And there are some things we can too easily let ourselves get tied up in knots over that aren't of vital importance. So as you enjoy relaxing into your lines, after you quiet the other thoughts, take some time to think about order in the chaos. What are the things you need to have order in in your life to make it function more efficiently or comfortably? And what are things you make life more difficult and complicated than it needs to be because you are chasing them or trying to enforce them, I guess would be the better way to put that. Which brings me back to something that regularly comes up, balance. We try to fit so much into our lives and life brings many things that need to be fit in. What are some systems you have put in place to make prioritizing and completing tasks, responsibilities? Where might you need to work on this? And on the flip side, are there things you are clinging to that you know aren't really necessary, but give you some type of comfort? even if you are uncomfortable in it, because it can be easier to stick with the uncomfortable thing we know than to jump into the serious discomfort of something we don't know, but is better for us. Maybe you just need to focus on getting lost in the lines while you're making the lines, and you can figure out your journaling after. I really enjoyed this tunnel making, if you will. When I could stop thinking too much about lining up my lines correctly, but at the same time, thinking about it enough that I wasn't creating chaos, because that stresses me out too. I don't know what you will have to deal with this week, but I am glad you're here and that I have the opportunity to remind you that taking time to make art isn't a waste of time. If you are someone like me who needs to make art, taking some time each day or at this point each week to make art helps us, builds us, heals us, makes us more capable of dealing with all of the rest of it. We are wired for creativity, made in the image of the creator. Maybe physical art making isn't your outlet. But if you're here and you've made it this far in the video, there is a very high probability that you are 
an artist. Whatever you think about your skill, you need to take time to make art. Regardless of the type of creativity that works for each of us, we need to be expressing it in ways we find enjoyable and ways we find meaningful. Or we can't be as healthy as we could. So take some time, draw some blobs and lines. I'll be back next week with another small art and journaling prompt. As well as this week's small art, you can also check out or revisit past prompts for more inspiration. If you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. It's hard to believe that I only have 10 more weeks of the 52 week art journal journey. And I'm proud of myself. And I'm grateful that at some point you decided to join me. <laughs>